Okay, folks. This is going to be a short tutorial, hopefully, on the, just the basics, bare minimums of building a base. First thing you want to do is scout out a prime location for you to build a base. There are many reasons to build bases in different places. Some have pros and some have cons. The pro to building in a valley or a out of in the middle of nowhere place that's not a high point is that uh, it's very unlikely that your base will be discovered. However, a base that's on a low point surrounded by high points is easily you're easily able to be attacked. Players can park tanks on uh, hills that's close to your base and shoot down on you. So those are the cons of building low. The pros is you can usually hide them very well. The pros about building on a high point is that players cannot attack you from any ground level. Um, however, the con is your base is sitting on a high point and is easily noticeable, especially when players start flying around the map. For this tutorial, we'll just choose a place I've picked out a place, just kind of looked at the map, randomly picked somewhere. So I gotta go ahead and eat and drink here, or else I guess I'll die. Another couple things you can consider is you can consider building a place like this that already has some established buildings and compounds. Or you can pick a blank space to build fresh new things. Uh, in neither case, what you do not want to do is you do not want to depend on these existing buildings for any kind of permanent storage. Because these buildings cannot be locked up. and usually they are also destructible. So once you get to your base drop your object your container full of your base supplies and what I didn't go over on this tutorial or will not go over is you first want to buy a helicopter go to a general store or find a helicopter, either way, just get a helicopter. Go to a general store, buy a shipping container. These are 20 foot or just a regular cargo, mill green, sand, there's red and all that. And then there's also the large Hemet containers. Right now the large Hemet containers cannot be picked up by helicopter and we are working on fixing that or changing that. So, you load all your base supplies into your container and once you get to your where you want to build your base you just scroll view view contents and a little tip because you never know when a server might go down and when if a server goes down anything not locked down will disappear when the server restarts so just uh, fix this real quick So you walk up to your container and you go ahead and unload everything. Just kind of move it over to a certain spot. Now you have to actually select it and click unload. So, these are your basic building components. You have canal walls, which are the, the one things I would definitely suggest. 
these are coming out these are just called canal walls these are canal walls small and these are canal stairs the only difference between canal stairs and the walls is that they have this little extra piece added onto them for the staircase now once you unload everything and you got to your base point you want to go ahead and lock everything down right where it is unless you know for sure that the server is not going to crash on you or get restarted for quite a while uh, but if the server restarts and you bought all this stuff it'll disappear whenever the server starts back up so it's a good idea to go ahead and lock everything down just unload it real quickly and lock it all down right away it's better to work as teams of two one guy can unload the other guy can lock down as you're unloading or one you both can unload and lock down at the same time. Now, in order to move an object, scroll your wheel and select take it, which is highlighted in blue. You then walk to where you want to place it. You can move around and move it like this. There's also a couple of options using your keypad. R pushes an object further away and F brings it closer. X spins it one way and C spins it the other way. C is in Charlie, X is in X-Ray, R is in Romeo, F is in Fox. So, you notice you can move it. This, this enables you to do a little adjusting. So, you can also look up to raise the object higher or look down to raise it lower. But notice if you can't see it, once you release it, you will not be able to lock it down. So, and another tip is that once you place every object where you want to place it, and that's its final resting place, I suggest to go ahead and lock it down right away. You lock it down by walking up to the object, scroll your mouse wheel down to lock this object, and then select it. Some people like to place all their objects first and then go around locking things down. The problem is, is that many times they'll either miss or forget to lock something down. And even if you lock your base down, that object will actually disappear when the server restarts. So. Once you get all your base objects placed to where you want them and locked down, then you want to take your sat phone and you want to put it in a central location in the middle of the base. But before you can use the sat phone for any purposes, you also have to lock it down. Now once the sat phone is locked down, it cannot be moved unless it's unlocked, just like any other object. But here is a unique thing in our server about these base lockers. You open up the base locker menu. The first thing you want to do is select, highlight change pin and then click select. You can change the pin to anything you want. If you're the person who locked down, not bought, but locked down the sat phone, you are considered the owner of the sat phone. So, if another player wants to access the base menu, they will be required to enter the pin before they can get to this menu. So they have to know the pin in order to get to it. So, whenever you want to secure your base, you, so you highlight lockdown base click select the base is now under lockdown now if you go over here to this object and select unlock this object it'll tell you you cannot lock it because the base is under lockdown but if you go over to an object that's not locked down it also will not let you lock down an object while base is under lockdown so during your building you need to unlock your base or release the lockdown I should say in order to do building. One other little tip is that when you're moving objects around, let's go ahead and holster my pistol 
and I'm going to pick up this canal wall. You notice he pulls out his pistol. Your character pulls out the pistol, and he just kind of creeps along. Now, this can become very time consuming. So you can have one or two options. You can continually holster your pistol once you pick an object up and if you notice you move a lot faster. However, the other option is if you're going to be building for a while is to go into your inventory, move your pistol into your backpack or your vest or even your uniform if it can fit. When you do that, you'll unholster your main weapon, go ahead and holster your weapon, then walk up to the objects you want to pick up, select take object and you will not pull out your pistol again and you can move a little faster it's still slow but faster than pulling out your pistol and with your pistol out and you also will not continually pull out your pistol if it's not in your pistol slot in your inventory so again place the object down and then go ahead and lock it down immediately Another thing you want to keep in mind is your base perimeter. If you open up the base menu and you select this show base border, it'll start popping up these arrows around in your view. However, this is actually not accurate. You can actually lock down and secure objects farther from the sat phone than what this is showing you. I built a base here before and the I had walls of the base all the way out to the bobbed wire or the Constantine wire. There's Constantine wire that surrounds this whole military area and I basically put walls lining the whole inside of the this wire. And I had the sat phone up there at the same spot pretty much and it covered all those walls. But what you want to do as a tip is that once you get all of your perimeter walls locked down in place go back to your sat phone select open up your base menu menu and select lock down base and then literally go around and test all your walls and I say test all of them because it's not based on where the object is whether or not you can unlock it it's based on where the player is standing, whether or not it can be unlocked. For instance, there's been cases where I've been on 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 the outside of the or on the inside of the wall and not be able to unlock the object. But then when I go on the outside of the wall, I can unlock it. And that's because where I'm standing is what matters, not where the object is. So you actually want to test your outer wall from the outside to see if you can unlock the object. If you can't unlock it, you're good to go. And I believe that's it for this tutorial. That's the basics of building a base to get you guys started. If you have any other questions or, or, or comments, just go ahead and put them in the comment section below. And thank you for watching. Please bring as many players to our server as you can.